Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. What we're going to be talking about today is how to start coding, right? I know, I know some of you might have a bit of experience coding, but the, the reality is a lot of you aren't going to have zero experience. And for those of you that have no experience coding and that really want to start learning, I just wanted to talk about some different things that you guys could do, some things you guys should consider when you're starting off, right? That will just make your life a bit easier. What kind of languages to learn, what kind of text you want to work with, stuff like that. So you kind of have a plan of where you want your career to go. And this will apply to you regardless of whether you're in high school or if you're in college or if you're already working full time somewhere and you want to kind of switch career paths. I think this kind of advice will apply to all those kind of situations. And so let's get right into it. If you don't know me, my name is John. I'm a software engineer. And what we do on this channel is we kind of talk about how to become a software engineer. And I try to give you guys advice based on my experiences to ensure that you guys become software engineers too. If you like the content, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. So if like you've never coded before, but you've heard of it, you want to try it out, you think you're su well suited for it. First kind of thing I would do is probably like, you know, w do some research, figure out some popular programming languages, what a lot of people are using, what a lot of companies are using. Kind of if you have your favorite company or your favorite app, um, maybe Google them and see what kind of text they're using. What you kind of really just want to do is become familiar with different languages and just gain some context into like the world of software engineering, what kind of different jobs there are, what kind of different technologies people use, because you can work on an iOS app, you can work on an, oh, like a web app, you can do data science, you can work on, you know, a ton of different things. And so what you kind of just, if you're like kind of just starting out, and you, you want to get into coding, you kind of just want to, um, want to dip your feet in, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but like, you know, kind of just get a feel for what options you have available. And here there's really no rules, right? You can kind of look at different languages, see different job positions and kind of make your decisions. There's not, there's not really the right or wrong thing to do. And so really try to kind of find a language that works for you that you find interesting. And then just pick one, right? This really isn't that big of a decision. Um, if you know what project, if you know what kind of thing you want to work on, pick Google, like, you know, which languages you need to know to work on uh, blank, whatever, iOS, Android. And if you don't just learn a white language like JavaScript, the important thing is you just start coding, right? So this leads well into the next uh, topic, which is you got to understand what your goal is, right? If you're okay, you're trying to, you want to become a software engineer, but then what, what is your goal? What kind of thing do you want to work with? Right? Like we were talking, like we were just talking about, you want to, you want to figure out what you want to do. Right. So if you want to go into web development, you should, you know, like I mentioned before, we just focus on a language like JavaScript. If you want to we'll go into iOS development, you know, pick a language like Swift and just kind of, you know, d decide what you're going to what you're, what you're going to go with and kind of start, you know, uh, learning, doing tutorials and stuff like that. There are a couple of things to consider here, though, if you're a high school student um, and you really have never coded before or if you just like in general have not coded before, you might want to pick a language like C++ or Java, because when you learn these kinds of languages, they use a lot of like object oriented principles and a lot of, you know, schools use these languages to teach, you know, kind of like the foundations of computer science, you know, linked lists and stuff like that. And it, it, they really use these languages to teach, to teach the concepts that, that, that apply to all languages, right? So if you start off with a language like that, I know in a college, they usually use those languages. And so you kind of will have a better understanding of the foundations of computer science and it might put you in a better spot, right? Especially if you're going into college. I learned in college and most of you guys know that I've mentioned it before on the channel. And I think for myself, college was the, is the best way for me to learn how to code. And I think college might be the best way to learn uh, software engineering, you know, to, to learn programming. But, you know, it is really expensive. It, it is really expensive. So that makes me kind of not think it's the best way. But I think in terms of just pure like content. Uh, it might be the best way to learn how to code, but um, that's there's bias there because you know I did that, so who knows? The next thing you want to do, right after you kind of pick a language, and you you and you know you make that decision, you maybe go to the website of the language you're using, right? If um, and like read some documentation, learn the syntax, kind of spend a decent amount of time just going through this kind of stuff and just getting a feel for the language and understanding what it's all about, right? Maybe you, you can learn why it was written, why it was created, what kind of problem it solved. That kind of gives you more context too, and just kind of get, get, a, get an idea of what you're working with. And at this point, right, this is when you want to start coding. You want to start learning and you want to start applying the concepts. And this has been talked about a lot on my channel. You know, you just want to build a simple project. If you have no idea what you want to build, um, just, just as, as your very first step, just Google CRUD. What CRUD stands for is basically create, read, update, and delete. And it's kind of four instructions where you can create something, you can look at something like, right, you can just read it, you can update it. So you can edit it kind of 
update the information or you can just delete it. And so these kind of four instructions are the basics of you know endpoints and APIs and stuff like that. And so if you can build kind of a very basic app where you can create something, um, re read something, um, update something or delete something, that's kind of like you know the first step into building a real project and a real um, API. So if you can do something like that, that's a really awesome very first project. And then from there, you kind of want to build a more personal project, kind of move on to solving a problem of your own. That's what I like. To, that's what I like to push. Also, like um, find a problem in your life that you can solve with code, and then kind of figure it out, build a project uh, that solves that problem in your life, and then you can also, you know, at the same time, you're learning to code too. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. And then, and then, yeah, kind of go from there, guys. You know, at that at that point, you'll have built you'll have built a decent amount of uh, you'll have built a, a project. Um, you'll, you'll know a language decently and you'll, you're kind of ready to, to, you know, pursue more complex projects and really take your learning to the next level. So guys, like, um, I hope this kind of like helps you get a basic idea of how to start and how to approach, you know, the very beginning. If you're trying to learn how to code, I hope I've just laid out a, you know, a pretty basic plan for you. And this is what I would do, you know, if I was starting out today. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, feel free to leave a comment below if there's anything you disagree with, anything you would change or anything you think I missed. That's pretty crucial for you if you're starting off, um, if you're just starting out how to, uh, learning how to code. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.